we will have a look today at a new plugin from Felt Instruments, ReC, and this one, unlike the other instruments from Felt, is not producing sound, but rather processing sound in a very unique, very Felt-like way, adding lots of character to any sound source. Basically, it's a band pass filter recreated after a filter and a tube preamp from the 50s. I highly recommend checking out the full details on the Felt Instruments website. But something to keep in mind, this is not a normal filter you will use like other filters with basic waveforms like saw and square, but this filter is more for coloring a sound, adding character, adding warmth, and even adding movement. So we will start with a few examples in VCVREC and later on use it also with the modular. So of course, RC is a VST like any other, so it will work in other DAWs as well. But if you want to use RC and other VSTs in VCVREC, you will need the host module. So here I have a simple chord progression. I have a progress with a few chords programmed, and this is sequencing polyphonically the interzone voice from Valley. And for now, Rissi is off. So let's see what happens um, when we introduce it. Now it's on. Let's turn it off again. And again on. And by the way, there will be a link in the description to WAV files you can download and listen to the effects of RISI without the YouTube compression. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty simple instrument to use. We have the low pass, and this will work in steps. We have high pass, and together, they create the band pass. Then we have the intensity control, which is not a dry, a dry wet control, but rather a way to change the filter response. And we can choose to, uh, uh, to affect only the low pass or the high pass or both. If I click here, the intensity, we can choose just low pass, for example. Or just the high pass, or again both. We can add also noise, and this noise is sampled from the original unit, from the original filter. And we have a built-in LFO to add movement to the intensity control. So we have the shape I have here. And we have triangle, um, so square, sine, and random. Let's go with sine. And then we have the amount and the frequency. So let's already modulate the... Um, the frequency of the LFO, and this we can do quite easily with host. All I have to do is uh, assign it to one of the slots. So I click the slot and I move it, and then we have LFO. And here I have smooth random voltage that I can use to modulate this parameter. There are a few more options if you click the uh, logo here. There are a few more options. You can change the response, the interface size, and here you have a dry wet control. OK, 
Okay, so for now, let's add... I will zoom out a bit. Let's add some reverb. I have here um, plateau. Until now, it was all the way dry. Very nice. And I have here also an arpeggio. Let's put this here on the right. An arpeggio arpeggiating those chords. And I'm using plats, the macro oscillator 2 as my voice. And this is also going through another uh, resi. In this case, the LFO is set to random. So here I have some drums, I have the proc drum modules being sequenced by a few of the gate sequencers from Impromptu, it sounds like this. And again I have here a Risi, but for now it's off. So let's see again how it adds to the sound just by having it a part of the chain before even changing anything. So now it's off, let's turn it on. And off again. And on. So you can hear that it adds a bit of gain and a bit of uh, character to the sound. Now let's start changing some parameters. So maybe I will take the Lopez one down to make the overall sound a bit more mellow. Maybe add some noise. And maybe uh, some modulation for the intensity, just to have some movement. Very nice. I also have here some chords um, with Blisco Cello, which is another instrument, a cello instrument from Felt. And I have the note sequencer from Impromptu, sequencing it polyphonically. It's going through um, plateau and again Risi, but it's off. So let's hear, first of all, without Risi. Very nice. So what I'm doing here, I have some low pass and high pass. And I'm actually sequencing the intensity with a sequencer. I have here a sequencer sequencing the intensity so it gives it it will give it a bit more of a rhythmic result so let's see how this will sound like very nice and i have here also a bass so i have two bleak oscillators with some movement from oct going through a filter and again this is going through Risi for now Risi is off so let's bring in the bass and here I'm uh, not only sequencing the intensity but I'm also sequencing the noise so you will see here also some movement and what I'm doing before I'm sending the modulation uh, or the sequence to the host module, I'm sending it through um, a slew limiter. So the modulation or the sequencing will be a bit smoother. So let's activate RISI and see how it changes the sound. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable all of the Risi um, filters in the whole patch. So we listen to the patch without the filter and then with it. So let's uh, disable all three of them. So now it's without the filter. You can hear that it's brighter and it's a bit um, less alive. It has less movement. And it's a bit colder, but now let's add the filters. You can hear the D 
difference, it's a bit more, it's a bit warmer, a bit darker, with more movement. So now let's listen how Risi sounds with different voices from uh, the modular from the Eurorack system. I'm using the ES9 from Expert Sleeper so I can send uh, the separate voices into different channels and process them separately. But of course this can also work um, if you want to process the whole sound and you will see this also later how it affects the master channel. Um, so what I have here, I have Yanso, another instrument from Felt. I have it here, I can show you it. This one, Yanso, um, recorded into Morphogen. Um, Morphogen is going to a Lopez filter just to add some character to the sound. Um, this modus versio, and then to the mixer. So this is the sound, and I have on this channel, I have a Risi, but it's, of course, disabled. So now I have a bit of low pass, I have a bit of high pass and modulation on the intensity. So I will activate it and deactivate it. And again, there will be a WAV files available for you to download so you can hear the sound without the YouTube compression. So now I will activate it. You can hear directly that the sound became um, darker, became warmer, and uh, you can hear also the modulation of the LFO. Again, I will deactivate it. The sound is brighter, maybe a bit colder. And now with Risi. All right, so this is the first voice. And um, there's also some uh, noise that is being added from uh, Risi. Another voice I have here is coming from Plets, a sort of a generative voice, a sort of a Krell patch with Rampage, um, which is uh, sequencing um, Plets. It's going, Plets is going through Led Rover, Imitor Versio, and then the Mimeophone for nice um, delays and reverb. So let's bring this in. Again, also here on this channel, I have Risi. It's disabled. But let's now um, enable it. Disable it. And again, it's on. Also here I have some low pass, some high pass and modulation. In this case, it's random modulation on the intensity. So also here you can hear the movement. The next voice I have here is coming from the TSL and it's being controlled, the level and the panning is being controlled by the uh, by planer. It's going again through a filter and it will sound like this. Sort of a bass. Let's listen to it now with uh, Risi. I think that uh, in this case I will solo this channel also, just so we can listen to it better. So now it's uh, disabled. And now it's on. 
You can hear the modulation of the LFO and the intensity. Again, it's off. And now again, it's on. You can hear the character of the sound. Okay, and the last voice I have here is a piano, it's Leco, I can show you this as well. Leco, also from Felt Instruments, this is a piano, a library. So I recorded a, a few chords onto the looper from Instruo, and this is going through Microcell. listen to how Risi is um, processing the sound. So now it's off. Let's listen to one more chord. And now it's on. Right, so it's a bit more mellow. It's a bit less in your face. And now let's listen to how it sounds like when I add uh, Risi uh, on the master track. And as you can see, I didn't do anything. I didn't uh, change any parameter. I'm just going to activate it on the master track. And you will hear that it adds a bit of gain, but it also adds this character to the overall sound. So let's have a listen to this. Now it's off. And now we'll turn it on. Now off again. And on. So again, it adds a bit of gain, but also this uh, nice character to the sound. Now I will uh, try to disable all of the instances of uh, Risi, and we will listen to all of this uh, patch without Risi and then with. So let's see if I can do this. So now there is no Risi on any of the channels. Let's enable all of them. Right, so it's a warmer sound. It's a bit more mellow. Okay, and that was Risi. I'm going to play this patch a bit uh, if you want to stick around. Um, thank you for watching and cheers.
Thank you.